Hey guys and girls, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server um, and install Raspberry Juice. It says we can get it working with uh, mcpy-scratch, so we can get Scratch and Pi working with Minecraft. So this video is just going to be the setting up of the server and then uh, keep an eye out for the next video that will show you some coding in Minecraft. So I've got Minecraft installed and I'm running version 1.15.2. So in Google, I've just typed in git spigot and you'll see um, this link here. So it's git, uh, git bucket.org. Click that and you should see um, something like this. Spigot should be here. And we want the same version that we've got Minecraft installed. So we're running 1.15.2. So I'm gonna hit download on that. And then download again and it should download the jar file. I'm gonna keep drag that over to your desktop so there we go we want a folder for our server uh, so we just call it um, 1.15.2 server I'm going to put this inside of here open it up now if you're if you don't see the little Java icon it either means you haven't got Java installed or your file association is incorrect so um, if you need to install Java just go to a browser and install Java. Um, to sort out the file association, simply right click on the file, go properties, and you should see open with, and you want it to say the Java platform. You can just change it if it's set to something else like WinRAR. If it's set to WinRAR, it will look like that, for example, and you just want to change that and make sure that it's set to open with the Java platform. Once that's done, you can just double click Give it a second, you might think it's not doing anything, but it is. Okay, and then we get these files that appear. So the first thing you wanna do is go into the EULA text file, and you wanna read um, the EULA thing if you really can be bothered. Um, otherwise, just change it to true. Click save and close okay and then uh, what you want to do is just run spigot 1.15.2 again and just let it do its thing you may think it's not doing anything but it is working just be patient Okay, so there we go. So it's uh, started the starting the server, preparing the spawn area, and all of that sort of thing. And you can see it's created loads of other files. It's created the plugin folder, um, and so on and so forth. Now we haven't actually configured our server yet, so we need to stop this in a second. So we can do that just by clicking there, and it'll say shutting down. Leave that to do its thing. In the meantime, we're going to grab the uh, Raspberry Juice plugin. So we're going to just go here and type raspberry juice plugin okay and we want um, we're going to get it again from Spigot MC High Performance Minecraft so we'll click that and then it's 1.12.1 .1 is the one I'm going to be using so I'm just going to download that keep the file pull that out Uh, it looks like my server may have uh, messed up a bit, so I'm just going to force quit that. So Control Alt Delete, uh, go to Task Manager. I'm just going to end the the Java platform, so it forces that to close. Not quite sure what happened there. Let's drag that across onto the desktop, and I'm going to put that into the uh, Plugins folder. And just going to drag that in here and next time that server loads it will install raspberry juice um, which we'll test in a second so the server settings we can open up the server text file here and this is all our settings so you can see here allow nether true um, enforce whitelist if you've got a whitelist for example and so on and so forth um, just doing a quick look through of these so the, the game mode is survival. Well, I want it to be creative. So we'll set that to creative. All 
I want a flat word, so I'm looking for level type. So that's set to default. We want it to be flat. And we can save that, control S. Just close that down and we can start the server. So to do that, we are gonna create a little batch file and I've got the text already saved over here. Okay, so we've got some code here which we're gonna to use to create the batch file. So start.bat text dash Java. Uh, we don't need that. Don't need that or that, so get rid of that. We just need it to say uh, Java, how much memory, max memory, uh, and we're using 1.15.2. Uh, we're going to save that as I'm going to save it into our server. I'm going to call it start dot bat. Save that. And I'll put that in the that code in the description for you. Um, and then we just literally hit the start. So it's outdated. We could create a new version using the build tools, but we'll just let it run for now. It should run regardless. Give it a second or 20, as it says. Then it will start to load libraries, uh, start loading the server. And we can see here, I've just seen it said that it's uh, loading Raspberry Juice, repairing Spawn Arena. And you can see the memory um, details down here, server details down here. Obviously, the Spawn Arena needs to get to 100%. Uh, Raspberry Juice, enabling Raspberry Juice, using host port, good. Good, so that's it, that should be the server up and running. So what we can do is we can open the Minecraft launcher, click play. Mojang. Okay, go to multiplayer, proceed. And we can see the servers there up and running uh, so we can join that and there we go we are in our flat world on our server one of the things I always like to do with uh, Minecraft is to stop it pausing when you switch out so when you leave uh, it tends to uh, go to the pause menu, which can be a bit annoying if you're trying to program and you're trying to link Scratch to it and Python. So we can actually stop that from happening. What we can do is, I'm just going to disconnect from that and close that down. Uh, we can go to our Minecraft install, which uh, should be C users app data it's probably local roaming it's probably roaming dot minecraft and then in here we should have an options file and what we want to do is we want to find uh, let's just do a quick control f pause there we go uh, pause on loss focus equals true we want that to be false so we don't want it to pause on lost focus. Control S to save. Close that. We'll reload. Uh, we can close that and now we reload um, Minecraft. Play. Mojang. Okay, and then multiplayer, join that server. Okay, and now when we alt tab to something else, it's still, you can see it's still running, which is uh, quite useful. Uh, 
Okay, thanks for watching, guys and girls. Come back and uh, we'll have a go at some programming in Minecraft.